Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am back here in my favourite car park again. Yes, I'm back in the car park again where I first filmed and took pictures of the Jupiter and Saturn close conjunction on um, the day before. It was the 20th that I filmed that on and it was the day before the solstice. Uh, before they're closest together that they got in the sky and unfortunately we've been clouded out ever since and uh, I've been meaning to get back out again and film them again because they are still fairly close together and you can still get out there and see them if you want to go out and see them they're obviously moving away from each other now now actually before I go any further I just want to say something as well I've got an announcement to make now you might have already noticed when you clicked on this video that there was an advert at the start yes after three years three years of doing this channel three years I'm finally monetized i'm finally part of the youtube partner program amazing absolutely amazing um and i couldn't have done it without you it's been a bit of a long hard slog and uh, I've, I've stumbled along the way but i've managed to get over the line at last and i think this might be a new start for the channel in 2021 yes i've finally I'm going to get some money back for some of these videos that I'm doing as long as I get quite a few people watching them. So anyway, I hope you don't mind the adverts and, if, and it would help as well if you let the adverts run or even click on some of them as well. <laughs> Might be a few more pennies for me. Anyway. Oh, and I have to say a very Merry Christmas to all my viewers, subscribers uh, and thanks for getting me over the line. I needed 4,000 watch hours to be monetized i already had the subscribers it was the watch hours i was short of so thanks for that and uh, yes brilliant awesome anyways i'll talk about that in another video anyway so anyway i just want to show you some video now of what i'm doing of the two planets check this out okay so you can clearly see here the two planets got jupiter on the left there we can easily see the moons of jupiter look how they're all on the one side of the moon how amazing is that and and Saturn and you can see how they've swapped sides as well Jupiter is now on the left hand side of, of Saturn and I'm just going to show you now this is a screenshot from Stellarium showing you Jupiter how it would look if you could see it up close and you can see here all the moons on, on one side there you've got Io and then Europa and then out to Callisto and Ganymede Callisto and Ganymede are the larger moons Io and Europa are the smaller moons it's amazing how many different types of moons Ju Jupiter has so they're, they're all very very different absolutely amazing and now here's Saturn how Saturn would look and uh, you can see Titan up there as well it's not quite visible on the video but you can see here how the rings make the planet look that oval shape and over time these rings are going to get more thinner it's going to it's good they're going to look more edge on so it's going to look even more kind of oval as the years go on so that's Saturn absolutely amazing that's how it would look so now back to the planets again and uh, yeah hopefully you can see that oval shape of um, Saturn there and that will become a little bit more obvious as we go on I just want to give you an idea of how high up the planets are this is the top of the ice blast ride at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach and if I pan the camera up uh, we can see now that oh, oh look at this what's going on here look at this oh wow look at this jet here now wow <laughs> wow how amazing is that fly me to jupiter and saturn wow look at that hey eh? amazing hey eh? how about that hey eh? that was a lucky uh, thing to get wasn't it hey eh? look at that i think that uh, trail is reflecting the the twilight from the from the sky yeah amazing isn't it amazing what you see when you look up eh? that's it so get out and see Saturn and Jupiter now then, I just, want to, now then, I just want to give you an idea of how low the planets are now we're getting towards half five and they are seriously low down you can only just see them above these buildings ahead can you see that red light there I'll just zoom in on it above those houses that's the ice blast ride and it's now moved right across since I showed you that filming before where they were just above there well they've moved right across it and down now they're almost about to go out of sight now I won't be able to see them soon if I pan round here and up, you can see the moon there. The moon's looking nice and bright. It's a gibbous moon. And just up to the right of that is Mars. I'm not sure if it shows up on the video, but there you go. That's how low down they are now. They, they are getting very, very low. You really need to be out. Half past four, I'd say. About half past four to have a chance of seeing them in, in the 
in the bright twilight. So there you are, that's how Jupiter and Saturn are looking now on Christmas Eve. Amazing. You can tell that they've moved apart quite a bit from when I last filmed them and they're going to be moving apart from now on and they won't be close together in the sky like that again for about, I think it's about 60 years. 2080 I think it is before they, they meet up again like that in the sky again. Anyway, this was just a video just to give you an idea of where they are, what time to look and uh, just to show you how they're looking at the moment so um, i hope you like the video and if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and have a very merry christmas and a happy new year and i will see you again on the next one